In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and free way you can share your GarageBand iOS projects with other users using Google Drive. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. So if that sounds like your kind of jam, consider subscribing. We're here in GarageBand because a lot of folks are asking me about collaborating in GarageBand and there's a few different ways you can do this. There's some other videos linked in the description, but today I want to show you a really quick and simple way you can zip up your project file and then send it to someone else using Google Drive. Let's jump in and get started now. Now to get prepared, there are two apps you'll need to make sure you have. One is the files app that you can see here. This is so you can access the zip function or the compress function here in iOS 13. You will need to be on a device that runs iOS 13 to use this method. If you're on an earlier device, there's another way you can zip up project files, which I'll link down in the description. The other app you're going to need is this one, Google Drive, so that you can actually access your Google Drive on your iPhone or iPad. Now, you can do it from within the Files app, but the Google Drive app is way more reliable. So jump over to the App Store, make sure you've got those two apps downloaded. There are links to help you out right down in the description. So I'm back in GarageBand. This is my project of a song called Never To Blame, which is the one I'm going to use for this demo. Now, all I need to do is close out by tapping in the top left here. That's going to save the file and drop me back to GarageBand. But I can't do this next step from GarageBand. I need to jump over to the Files app so that I can zip up this project file. So we'll switch our app over here to the Files app, jump in here, and now we've gone to that same project folder. If you don't know where that is, you'll need to either go into your iCloud drive or your On My iPad or iPhone location, find your GarageBand for iOS folder, and find where you've saved that project. There it is, Never To Blame V6 is the one that I've got. All I need to do now to zip this up is tap the Select button in the top right corner, come back and tap on Never To Blame, and in the bottom right, where it has more, I can tap on that one and tap on compress. Now, the reason I need to compress or zip this file up is that the GarageBand.band files aren't compatible with Google Drive. They're not compatible with Dropbox. They're not compatible with email, a bunch of different places. So my recommendation is to always zip up your files. That way they will be compatible. And there you can see that we've got that zip file now ready to go. Next step is to simply go to our Google Drive and upload this file. So we're going to switch apps again. This time we're going to come to Google Drive. And here I am. Here's my Google Drive folder ready to go. Now, you may not have other things in here or you may have other things from your Gmail or wherever it is. Your Google Drive uh, is free and you get up to 15 gigabytes of storage. So it's super handy for these sort of purposes. What I want to do, I want to tap the big plus button down the bottom here. The first thing I'll do is create a folder to store this zip file because then I can just share the folder if I want to share multiple files in there. So we're going to tap folder and I'll name this folder ready to go. There you go. I've named it Pete John's Never to Blame Project. I can now tap on that one and down in the bottom right, I can tap the plus again. And this time I want to upload. So I'm going to tap on upload and now I need to hit the browse button down here because you guessed it, we're going to find that zip file that we just zipped up. So I'm going to tap the browse button. I'm going to drop back here and go back to my GarageBand iOS folder, my completed folder where I happen to know that I put this zip file. We're going to tap on the zip file like that and that's going to start uploading. So we just need to wait for this progress bar to finish uploading and then we'll jump into the next step. And that is done. There you go. It has been uploaded. It's there in the folder now. So this is ready for someone else to download, except I need to make sure that the folder and the file is actually shared. So let's show you how to do that now. So to make this file available for others, we need to click the little ellipsis, the three dots here to the right. We're going to click or tap on that one. And you can see here that link sharing is off at the moment. But if I tap on copy link, that's actually going to copy that link to the clipboard. And if we come here, link sharing is still off. What you need to do now is tap on link sharing and that will actually turn it on. There you go. We've now got link sharing on. We've got the link copied to my clipboard and it says here viewers of this file can see the comments and suggestions. So it's going to mean that people can actually access and uh, view and download this file because we've got that link copied to the clipboard and link sharing is on. So that is all there is to it. That is now ready to go. If I share this link via email with anyone, they can now download this. In fact, just to show you how it works, I'm going to 
share this link with myself and I'm going to download it and show you the other person's process if you want to share it with someone else, how they can download it onto their iPhone or iPad. So here I am in Gmail ready to send this to myself. You can use instant messages, you can use Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, any platform that allows you to send a link you can use. But I'm just going to put my own email address in here and paste this link in. So let's do that now. So there you go, I've set up the email. Now I'm going to paste in that Google Drive link and then I can hit the send button. This is going to send myself a copy of that link. And this is the beauty part. You're not sending the file, you're sending a link to the Google Drive location. So whoever you send this to can download the file. This means you don't have to worry about email size limits or different platforms not letting you do this. Any platform where you can send a link, you can send a copy of your project file or at least the link so someone else can download it. Let's now go over to my email and show you how we can download this and bring it right back into GarageBand. And here you go, we have an email for me from me. What I need to do now is tap on the link here. This is gonna open up Google Drive, so the person at the other end will need to have Google Drive to make this work, or it may just download directly for them. But assuming that they've got Google Drive on their iPhone or iPad, here it is. And it says unsupported file type, but don't worry. All we need to do is tap on the three dots again, the ellipsis in the top right corner, tap on open in, and it's gonna export that zip file. So now it's going to download and get ready to export this and we can save it straight back into our files, unzip it and use it in GarageBand. Let's wait for this to finish uh, downloading and then I'll come back and show you the next step. So here we go, we can now tap on save to files here. It's gonna open up our save dialog box. Now, there's a little bit of something strange here. We need to save it to my on my iPad location. For some reason, if you go and try and save it to some of your GarageBand locations over here on your iCloud drive, it's not gonna work. So all you really need to do is save it in here. Let's just come into GarageBand and save it in our GarageBand file transfer folder. For now, we'll tap on save. That's going to save, that is now in there. Now let's jump back over to files and see if it's actually downloaded and added this file. Here we go, we're back in files on my iPad. We will scroll on down to GarageBand. We'll go to our GarageBand file transfer folder and there it is, never to blame, v6.zip. So if I'm me at the other end or whoever you're sending it to, that's how simple it is for them. They just need to download, open in and then save to their files and then they just need to tap on that particular zip file. It's gonna extract it, open it and we tap on that one boom, we are back to where we started from. So then they can go ahead, make any adjustments, add tracks, and then guess what? Follow the exact same process again. Just zip it up, then send it over via Google Drive, send you an email or a message, say here's the newest version, and you're good to go. It's a good idea to, like I've done here, update the version number, so version six, version seven, version eight, as you transfer it back and forth. And there are other ways to collaborate as well, and I'm going to link to another video about collaborating using direct iCloud Drive people collaboration, which is another way to do this as well. But there you go, that is how you can zip up and share your GarageBand projects using Google Drive.